someday. In the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, March the 30th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Can't believe March is winding down already. There's a look at the SkyCam network from the Alpha SkyCam system at ABC 3340. And we see a few clouds off in the distance there from the Trustville SkyCam. But if we head up towards Hamilton, we see the skies are clear up that way. We're looking for a sunny day today as high pressure settles in at the surface over the uh, lower and middle Mississippi River Valley, and that should uh, bring us a very sunny day with temperatures a little on the cool side into the mid-60s for the most part. Aloft in the upper atmosphere around 500 millibars, it's roughly 18 to 20,000 feet. The trough that brought us the weather system yesterday has moved off into uh, the east coast, and we're coming under a ridge, and that ridge will be with us for several days this week as we head into the middle of the week and perhaps even bringing us the warmest day so far of 2014. Temperatures across the country are kind of mixed, but we don't have any extreme cold with most temperatures at least in the double digits across the area. Nice not to see any single digit values across there. No single digit values in central Alabama as temperatures this morning drop down into the upper 30s in some spots and uh, into the lower 40s in others. So temperatures not too terribly cold, but uh, tomorrow morning, we are looking at the possibility of some frost across the area. QPF-wise, it looks like much of the week ahead until Thursday is going to be dry. And then on Thursday, the main threat is going to be off to the west and northwest of the Birmingham area. Storm Protection Center is not out, out looking any severe weather area for today, for day one. There is a uh, at-risk area being mentioned for day five, uh, which is uh, uh, Thursday into Friday. That we'll be watching and uh, looking for the developments of that later. There's the uh, GFS, uh, 06Z GFS model run this morning. And there's the surface high settling in over the lower Mississippi River Valley today. And that high continues to stay with us as it settles in over the southeastern U.S. on Monday. In the upper atmosphere on Monday, we see the ridge pumping up nicely across the eastern third of the country. And that ridge is going to be acting more like a shield and that shield helping to keep those traveling weather systems, as you can see that one traveling up into the western Great Lakes. But uh, the ridge holding pretty strong down here, so that's going to keep the traveling weather systems a little further to our north. And uh, while they're going to have some weather up there in the Great Lakes and the front will trail down into the Ohio River Valley, doesn't look like it's going to become a problem for us. The ridge stays strong on Wednesday as that system moves across the top of it, but we notice that another trough is coming into the southwestern United States area. That southwestern trough is also fighting a pretty strong ridge, but it's likely to have more headway. We see the trough move into the Four Corners area on Thursday, so that should see the development of surface low over Texas and Oklahoma and uh, push a little more moisture our way. But uh, I think for the most part, Thursday could still be primarily dry with uh, the risk of rain being late in the day. And, of course, temperatures coming back into the 70s perhaps because of the clouds. That uh, short wave kind of kind of hangs back a little bit, but the short wave moves across from Colorado into the western Great Lakes, once again helping to dampen down the ridge, and that will bring the surface low up into the Ohio River Valley and drag a cold front down into the southeastern U.S. And, of course, uh, that will be the focus for our concerns for the next significant round of weather. That little short wave uh, moves fairly quickly into um, southeast Canada, but it uh, drags that front down into our area. So it does look like Saturday will be uh, one of those showery kind of days. Not an all-day rain necessarily, but certainly with the threat of showers almost all day. Another trough comes out of the Rockies on Sunday, and this one has a, a much uh, stronger depth to it. So uh, it's likely to push the front further to the south along the Gulf Coast. But then, as we see on Monday, as that uh, trough, we're verging out into voodoo country here, but that trough comes across the Mississippi River Valley. That looks like uh, Monday will return 
another uh, round of stormy weather for us. Now, looking well out into Voodoo country, we come under a very sharp ridge around the 10th, and that certainly looks like a very warm pattern with highs probably climbing up into the 80s once again across the southeastern United States. But we do see a pretty significant trough coming in around the 13th, and uh, that one digging in and providing us a bit of a colder look to the weather pattern over the eastern half of the country. So once again, screaming message coming out of voodoo country is the pattern is going to stay very active. Don't forget the ABC 3340 weather team will be at the Trustville uh, uh, Academy Sports on Wednesday to program weather radio. So if you have a weather radio in need of programming or just want to come by and say hello, please do. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>